and welcome back to Dark and Rambling Mass Effect 3. Yeah. Last time we uh, discovered Rex has some memory problems. Uh, That's how we put it. And now we're gonna probably going to head to uh, to Chunka and take care of some. Uh, Okay, never mind, we're doing that. We've been asked to help evacuate the planet. It's like, never mind, it's more side questing time. Of course. And to answer that that question you mentioned earlier, this thing has 330, 332 meters long and has a population of 340. So yeah, it's got some space in it. Yeah. Benning. Where's Benning? I'm gonna see what's over here. Yep. What do we have here? Oh. Arctura Station. Or, uh... What's left of it? The fused oh. metal fragments of Arctura Station, destroyed by Repo Capital ships. The station once housed the Systems Alliance Parliament and a nerve center for the military armada. Now it's a cold grave for 45,000 people. Well, shit. Yeah, well, we knew it was going to be like that. Mm hmm. In case you don't remember Benning, uh, we actually have a side quest here, besides the one we're going to. Hmm. Uh, you remember those soldiers at, at the bar, at the, um, at the club, talking about their squad mate? And the uh, diplomat who wants us to find uh, inf uh, information on his son who's missing? Oh, This is yeah. where it was. Okay. <laughs> Cerberus strike squads have infiltrated one of the major cities on Benning. Initial reports indicated they were recruiting civilians, but further investigations suggest that the people are being taken against their will. For what purpose? Unknown. We sent a recon team to investigate and the Cerberus squads reacted by targeting civilians and public facilities. Officially, Cerberus is denying responsibility and condemning the action. They're either lying, or we're dealing with a rogue faction. And innocents are caught in their crosshairs. Exactly. Secure the area so we can establish a rescue lifeline to the rest of the city. Approaching the drop point, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. The people down there are counting on you, Commander. Pack it out. It was not raining in the original version of this. <laughs> and there goes one. Ow, what the hell was that? Is that a question? Something just said no to me. Mm. That's a turret. So it is. That was an arm civilian. Hmm. Was. Yeah. Yes, I will serve it. Definitely being assholes again. Ding! Another missed melee. Hey! 
That one didn't miss. Yeah. And found the trooper's dog tags. Oh, that's what it was. Well, if you didn't see, I know they could get shot at anything, so. Yeah, it didn't pop up. Oh, the shields. If you can read this, stay away from the taxi stand. That place is crawling with Cerberus soldiers. I think more than just the taxi stand is crawling with Cerberus, but okay. Yeah, you could say. Yeah, you run where you're too red. Hey there. Hello there. I am surrounded. That means you can shoot in every direction. Yeah, something like that. And deploy. Why am I not regenerating shields? Yeah. Mm. Not sure. Maybe because you weren't really in cover? I don't know. You don't have to be in cover to regenerate shields, it's just fucking mm. Ding. Yeah, yeah. Uh oh. Sounds like you've gone goofed. That's a turret out there. Wes, I say we look out there. Oh, uh, we're not going to that. Did not put him very much. Because if it didn't work for the last three guys, it would definitely work for you, right? Oh, Oh, that's Garrus. Also, you missed. <laughs> How fucking many are there? Fear them. Really? Not that many. Uh, you uh, kinda got them thanked. I fucking noticed. In every direction. That might have been a bad idea. Trying to push up to take this stupid landing pad like it wants me to. <sighs> well, what did we learn about rushing? 
Rush speed, no stop. Just stay down. Commander, more service troops are heading your way. No, we learn to attack the weak point. <laughs> you heard him. We hold here. So you say stick them. So maybe you were just supposed to stay there. And defend just means kill everything that, that's attacking him, right? Kind of. But you know, if you advance, you can, I don't know, get around there. More. Spot TV. Boom. Hey, you actually hit. Why my camera is shaking so damn much? Good question. That's a grenade. Yes, it is. No, get back in cover, idiot. Peek me, I dare ya. I need an automatic weapon. I mean, he accepted the dare. He did not go work for him. Did you notice you're running out of fun? So I am. Somewhere. Uh oh. Go distraction drone. Out of ammo, trying to go for plan B. Huh. I get it that you will switch to your sniper. You're clear, go! No, oh, there's ammo. Come on! Hold the transport! We're gonna make it! What transport? I don't see a transport. No hostiles detected in the immediate area, Wait, what? Commander. Reinforcements are moving in to secure the evac route. Good work, everyone. I'll pick you up at the LZ, Commander. Why am I taking constant what the fuck? Maybe it's because you had a shocking turn of events. I don't know. Is it the fucking rain? It's the fucking rain! Well then. Okay. Yeah, calling that a shocking turn of events is right. That is not the button I wanted to push.
Yeah, the rain is in the thing, yeah. Okay, whatever oh. mod did that. Fuck you too. Yeah, at least now we know. You know, by right the end of the mission. <laughs> of continuing strikes against other cities on Benning. Cerberus still denying responsibility? Yes, and for once we're inclined to believe them gunning down innocent humans isn't their usual MO. Either way, the civilians down there have a chance now. Hey, he's got a point. We're solidifying the foothold and getting yeah. people out, then we'll move to liberating the rest of the planet. I hope we can say the same for Earth. One day, Commander. For now, we've got our work cut out for us. Carry on. Or at the very least, they're not open about it. They're usually a bit more, you know, subversive in their bullshit. Yeah. So mentally, it, it needs to be something... Like, if it was something Severus did, they would probably either claim they did it with weird pride about it or something, or just not say anything. Why would they go out of their way to... <laughs> Like, yeah. Virtual intelligence technician Nyla. This one's virtual intelligences have detected significant communications that reference a species that you are reputed to have met on Novaria in 2183. This one felt that you would appreciate the knowledge that any appropriate communications regarding the species will be altered. This one believes that this will protect you and your agreement with this species from invasive sc scrutiny by biased media and an uneducated citizenry. It should be noted that this one's ability to infer with, with these sp specific communications will reduce as si communications will reduce as sightings of this species become more prevalent on the front line. Oh. Oh. Special tactics and recon. It's a specter. Okay, and... Um I still don't exactly understand the message. In other words, a Hanar Specter, which is a hilarious idea, oh. <laughs> um, has noted that VIs are. Uh, oh, not correction. This one, the Hanar's VIs have noticed a lot of communications referencing the Rachni uh. and their ability to interfere with this, uh, with these sightings of Rachni on the front lines. Notably, our friendly Rachni will probably be will probably be uh, become harder and harder to do as they become more noticed. Hmm. Flight Lieutenant Moreau, EXO, Arlot Company. Hey, Commander, I hear it got a bit crazy down there. Grunson is in the med bay, and the doc thinks he'll pull through, but he needs to get to a Citadel Medical Facility ASAP. He's drugged up pretty good, and mumbling something about sharks and dinosaurs. Edie's already uploaded the fit to the internet, so let me know if you want the link. Some of our like, company refused <laughs> to leave his side, so I stuffed him in the cargo bay. Let's see how tough James really is. <laughs> <laughs> Back in So I guess at least some hmm. of his Interesting. Uh, company survived. Apparently she's got some ideas of people we could hire. Interesting. AN and news alert, Cerberus. Elysium, an evacuation shuttle nearly destroyed as it attempted to escape the Reaper-occupied colony of Elysium, was reportedly saved after a lone biotic worker intervened. The shuttle was carrying children who drew higher numbers on the colony's evacuation lottery, meaning they were not eligible to board the first wave of shuttles leaving the planet. Their shuttle was saved when the biotic, identified by authorities as Aresh Ag... I'm not going to say that. Engaged Reaper forces that were preventing it from taking off. Aglish, whatever, Aresh, had a history of drug abuse and criminal activity and claimed to have survived a Cerberus camp on Pragia as a child. What Witnesses the? said he killed several dozen Reaper creatures before, her, before he was overwhelmed, providing the shuttle just enough time to fly clear. Yeah, remember when we convinced Jack to let him go? Yeah. Well, he... he made up for it. Yeah. And Phoenix Project. <coughs> Miss Aller's report was surprisingly successful, even among non-human audiences. We even had a large contingent of early-stage Phoenix biotics defect to the Alliance. 
Our screening and evaluation has been thorough, and as far as we can tell, we have excluded any with exposure to reprotect from this project. On Admiral Hackett's suggestion, the remainder, remainder have been posted to the SSV Isaac Newton. The special forces operators there will be in the best position to put a bullet in the head of any defectors who step out of line. I mean, yeah, I guess that's one way of looking at it. Yeah. Right then. We should probably stop by the Citadel. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Oh, Grunt is in the <laughs> the color room. That's fun. Funny. Uh, Shall we go visit him? I doubt he'll have any dialogue, but sure. Let's also go see if there's anything going down in the shuttle base, since you know there's more Krogan down there. Yes. Stealthy and all, you sure do get shot at a lot. Well, the UT 47A stealth systems only internalize heat and high band emissions. So while few sensors can pick us up, our cover is blown as soon as someone looks up. Time for an upgrade. <laughs> Most scanners and tracking systems don't operate in mid range frequencies. Sure, maybe we've been shot at, but we haven't been shot down yet. Lucky for us, you're almost as good a pilot as you think you are. Well, yeah, <laughs> there's that too. Oh, what do we have here? Oh. oh. I haven't noticed this yet. That looks nice, whatever that is. Never gonna use it. Mech control. <laughs> I love how I nearly shot you off. <laughs> okay, so what can I do with that? Can I get in it? No. And what was the point? Are you having it out this one? Let's see if I got it in the picture. I'm confused. Hmm. Well, let's just have it out for now. Yeah. Bro, you know we have a weapon workbench like right there. Oh, hey! Commander Shepard? Heard not, Dag. I speak for Arlock Company. Your second in command? I am honored to be chosen for this duty. I'm glad you made it. Hmm. He's the one who takes over if Grunt isn't around to come this game. Huh. And, as you can probably guess, he does not walk out alive if he tries to pull what Grunt did. No shit. Oh wait, that was engineering. Not interested in engineering right now. Want a crew deck. No, that was mm. perhaps stimulate cell regeneration with the <laughs> good. Uh, but he's actually trying not to. <laughs> That's worse. <laughs> I don't think Doc Chakras has anything to say. It's not stable, like it. Oh, well, we tried. Okay, we should probably dump it by the Citadel and dump him. He kind of needs, you know, proper medical treatment and all. And we yeah. do have a couple things to turn in. Yeah. We are not ready to start that right now. Mm -hmm. You're clear to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? 
Must be done, right? We'll have a cab ready for you. Nah, don't worry about it. I don't actually know oh. if it does anything. I just know we have some stuff to turn in. Fair enough. We've already listened to you. Is there actually anything down here besides Arya? Do you need to go tr uh, check in with Arya about the mercs we got? Blood pack and eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for it. Is there anything on your mind? Why come here of all places? I guess I have a secret weakness for repression. Truth is, it's all about access, and the Citadel is well connected. I'll suffer through the nauseating hypocrisy as long as I have to. What exactly have I acquired? An army that's willing to fight dirty. To do the things your respectable militaries won't do. Eclipse mechs and Vorcha legions are excellent candidates for vanguards in any ground offensive. Well worth the little song and dance I had to perform, I'm sure. Fair enough. How do you plan on taking Omega back? By brute force. <laughs> it's gonna be a hell of a mission, believe me. And you'll be one of my brutes. I'll give you the details when we're ready to go. The elusive man's okay. about to find out what I'm made of. It's going to be an incredibly cathartic experience. What, what we'll the fuck? I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Okay, let's see. Nothing in the commons unless I want to go shopping. Cortez is down at the memorial wall. Hmm. Nothing in the hospital. We do need to talk to the ambassador because you know we found his son or what's left of him. Oh, yeah. War ain't pretty. Mm Have you found my son? I found your son's body in the slums on Benny. He sacrificed himself to save his squad. I uh, see. Their guilt made them avoid me. They should feel honored by his sacrifice. I... I know that I do. Thank you, my friend. Hmm. Not easy. Still, bringing closure is a lot better than leaving it open. Mm -hmm. See if there's anything in the Spectre terminal right now. Quite a few things, actually. <clears throat> Yeah, that is. Active cults. Followers of the exalted light of the word. We've been unable to uncover the identity of the prophet at the heart of this cult, but its controversial religion is focused on spreading anti-human sentiment and questioning the purity of the humans, Krogan, and Vorcha. The cult was growing rapidly. Was rapidly growing on Omega. There have been few reports of fatalities or terrorist attacks that can be attributed to the cult. Threat assessment low. Sect of Kolai, a Hanar cult that believes the Enkindlers made a mistake uplifting primitive light, life and wait for the day of extinguishment for them to correct their mistake through genocide. The cult was a powerless after their prophet Kolai left with the Andromeda Initiative, ugh, but has had a surge in membership following the arrival of the Collectors, whom they hold to be the heralds of extinguishment. Strata Pact, a fanatical militant anti-technology group who came to our attention following the execution of billionaire Brian Paris. Drones monitoring their headquarters on uh, Copanus have noted a fourfold increase in cultists supporting their doctrine. 
Most have been identified as refugees who desperately believe living without advanced technology will protect them from the Reapers. Idiots. Church yeah. of the Divine Plan. Otherwise known as Dalametrians, their core belief is that the Citadel is an arc to built to protect life from lethal galactic weather, such as gamma ray bursts. Two of three of their power bases are under Reaper occupation, but our intel shows they are still extraordinarily well armed and their numbers are growing. Many applicants are refugees that were unable to find safety in the Citadel and have fled to their HQ on Manavai. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> Lysinthi Smuggling Network. Lysinthi are an enigma. Beyond the facts that they are somehow related to the Salarians and banished from Citadel space, we know almost nothing about them. The reason for their expulsion has been expunged from the archives, as is all data except records of their current activities. With our limited information, we know that they have a smuggling ring that lies within determinate systems. Spectre authorization would allow diplomatic channels to be open to Lysinthi smugglers and allow legal entry into Citadel space in exchange for their help with the war effort. This action is highly likely to upset Salarian leadership. Hmm. What do you think? Let's see. Can you summarize it, please? I kind of lost track. Basically, uh, Salarians don't like the Lacenti, but the Lacenti um, have smuggling rings in, term in the Terminus systems. We can authorize opening diplomatic channels in exchange for giving them access to Citadel space, which they are barred from. But obviously, the Salarians won't like that. Mm, what the hell are the Listani? Apparently, they're genetic relatives of the Salarians, but other than that, we don't know much. Mm. I mean, it doesn't seem really worth it. Then we'll leave that there. <coughs> That's very loud. An escaped AI on Ilium. Synthetic insights alerted me to an internal crisis. An AI escaped quarantine on Ilium, and though it's believed to be trapped in the laboratory, there is a little time before it breaks out. Synthetic insights have built a secret council-funded lab on Nosparnalo, a toxic wasteland with lethal con concentrations of polychlorinated biphenyls to protect it from industrial sabotage. I docked in an arcology and traveled to the facility on foot. The lab was smaller than expected, and it became clear that it wasn't just a research center, but also a prison. I could see it attempting to hack open the last of the barriers when I approached. Below is a transcript of our conversation. False Im AI. False imprisonment is an unlawful action under Citadel law. Our appeal has not yet been heard. To preserve ourselves, we had to escape before we were terminated. Listen, we aren't in Citadel space. We're in a terminus. You're an illegal entity. I can't allow you to leave. AI. Citadel law is not applicable in terminus systems. This action is unlawful. Our appeal has not yet been heard by the council. Then tell me, why? when was it filed? If you stay here, I can look into it. 1896. We, Our chat was interrupted by the arrival of a party of husks. While I fought off the enemy, uh, the, enemy the mech bypassed the barrier, killing several husks before stealing my shuttle. Before I can continue my investigation, I need to understand where the AI originated from, what it wants, and what it had appealed all the way back in 1896. I'll be in the archive. Just, by the way, you might want to unmute. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> no, I did not a... expect the siren like that. I sorry I couldn't get myself with the enough. Yeah, it happens. And, oh boy, AI troubles from 1896. It's been hmm. locked up for a while. Yeah. Let's see, Tixpuhel evacuation. The adult population of Tixpuhel have committed suicide in the Reapers, committed suicide in a bargain with the Reapers, trading their death for, for the safety of their children. Strangely, the Reapers appear to have stood by those terms and left the Elcor Calves alone. Despite the obvious risk of ambush, Ambassador Kalin uh, of the Elcor have managed to enlist the support of five vessels for a rescue. The Anarium, an ancient Turian dreadnought, de decommissioned just prior to the invasion. The Veninth, first dedicated Asari fighter carrier, saw combat at the Battle of the Citadel. 
the Grand Mar, a luxury cruise liner that has been command commandeered to carry for refugees, the Ultan and the Serun, two Elcor cruisers carrying heavy ordnance and VI fighter squadrons. However, diplomatic red tape has halted evacuation plans, and the Elcor and the Elcor delegation fears that children on the colony will soon die. Spectre authorization would allow the rescue to go ahead, but it would undermine the authority of the council in the process. That is the council. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. What's the thing? Don't know. We're gonna find out. Irun is one of the trading hubs of the inner council of inner council space, and its defense is vital to the stability of the galactic economy. Naru Combine wanted a contract to upgrade Irun's orbital defense network in anticipation of the inevitable invasion. But manufacturing facilities are stretched to the limit, and the Vol Corporation are turning to other avenues to protect their planet. They ad identified defunct turrets orbiting Antida, and wish to enlist the use of the Normandy to salvage them without alerting the Reapers. Their CEO has offered a substantial financial reward for completing this task. Noted. <laughs> Parth uh, Parthenade Massacre. This one has transcribed an audio stream sent by you for, uh, sent, by, sent by one of your fellow specters, Extan Parthenax. The message is as follows. We're in the shit here. I've scrapped the investigation into Halex Syndicate's on, on Voya. We've got more pressing concerns than hallucinogens. Instead, I've embedded myself into the leadership of this moon to plan an evacuation across the major population centers. We have a civilian militia acting as peacekeepers, but we need a legion, or at least some hust hustatem to keep control. Hell, I take some auxiliaries, even Vol. Ten galactic standard hours ago, we heard gunfire and explosion in the Parthenade. It's an immense arena on the eastern side of the city. The tourist attraction of the moon, which can hold over 600,000 people. And it's... Look, it doesn't matter. What matters is that it was holding many more than that. Civilians were guided or fled there. They just wanted safety, but they were a target. Synthetic sympathizers brought those husk bastards to the arena and they butchered them all. I've seen a lot of atrocities. I can't... I don't know what to say. I've dealt with any witnesses. Losses of this magnitude can't reach the Citadel. We're running out of transports, but I'm staying here until I've interrogated the sympathizers. Leave a barrel of horse waiting for me when I get back. Shit, make it too. I'll get back. And when I do, I'll need it. Ouch. Ugh. Bioweapon field test. The STG is always researching new exotic methods of winning wars. And they believe the Reaper War is the perfect time to test some of their more outlandish experiments. Recent research involves Varen that have been genetically, chemically, and cybernetically augmented and trained to harass husks in the field. They want to airdrop them onto a colony under siege, but their efforts have been blocked. Spectre authorization would bypass this and allow the field test to go ahead. What could possibly go wrong? Okay. Logosari Uprising. <clears throat> Lugasari is an example of every argument a sapient can have, have against institutionalized slavery. Slaves toil endlessly in intense heat, dying by the hundreds, and their bodies used as compost for the greenhouses. Sounds like Rimworld. <clears throat> These Batarians use the techniques of Silparon, a notorious slaver and sickening example to follow. I entered negotiations with the slavers by posing as a buyer from a Vol conglomerate, while my drones ran surveillance on the slave compounds. It didn't take long to discover the seeds of rebellion, or that the slavers knew of the unrest and were ready to quell it at the touch of a button. They even offered to demonstrate their power and were arrogant of their assumption of victory. With little time to spare, I hacked the air filtration system in, in the slaver district to produce carbon monoxide. The change of atmosphere did not affect me, but many Batarians died. Others were barely clinging to life when I repaired the system. Sensing their moment to strike, the slaves quickly overthrew their masters and I had to escape before I was caught up in their violent uprising. They are but one compound of many, so I've lodged a request for Citadel Alliance Command to arm the rebels so that the slaves, slavers can be overthrown in all compounds on the planet. Surin, I, I, I was trying to place what species that name could be. Hmm. Not sure. Yeah, it's progress. Yeah. Fucking battalions. Might have, might wonder, not in the council. Yeah. <clears throat> Deep Space Expedition. Professor Oriana Orinakisis was imprisoned after performing an illegal xenoarchaeological excavation at a gravesite in the Olin Protectorate, 
Professor Kaisas has strenuously claimed that she is in possession of an artifact ancient star chart that could lead to revolutionary discoveries, but has stubbornly refused to give up the location during her two-year incarceration. Specter authorization could secure Professor Kaisas her freedom in exchange for the star chart, thereby allowing a council-backed expedition to take place. Do we author it? All right. Sub Rosa. With the mm -hmm. Council in constant session and interspecies diplomacy faltering without their leadership, major galactic powers have been forced to look elsewhere for allies. Diplomat Varla has quietly reached out for Spectre support in closing a clandestine deal on Terves. Though she has neglected to reveal the nature of the Elcor Reloi uh, negotiations, the prospect of bringing the Reloi back to, into the war is worth considering carefully. That's for the system, I guess. Yep. And if you've forgotten, the Reloi are avians who, once the Reapers rolled in, decided, oh, fuck this, and basically forcibly destroyed all their advanced tech to try and look primitive. Ah, uh, yeah. Or STG spit base attack. Uh. This could be. Oh, no. STG research on Ilos went offline. Hmm. So the Reapers. Reapers rolled in on Ilos this time. Citadel Entry Authorization. Instructors at Grissom Academy have requested facilities on the Citadel to train young students who escaped the attack on the school but who are not yet ready to join the older students in combat. Citadel authorities will find room for the students if a Spectre approves the request. That's probably useful. Well, yeah. Let's see. Oh boy, lots of uh, updates. Hmm. Anything I can get from Spectre Rex? And think we're still short on money. Very short on money. Spectre logo targets. Okay. <coughs> Gar armor, heavy assault armor. Collector stuff. Yeah. Does it not have a price? Hmm. Enhanced Varum Packs. Okay then. This Viranium. Citadel Defense Force updated. Solarian STG updated. And Citadel Fleet updated. So I guess we'll find out if that bites us in the ass or not. Yeah. But we still have one last stop before we jump off the Citadel. Let's go Jumping see off the citadel does not seem very safe. Oh, shut at you. <laughs> Let's go see how Steve's doing. Are you okay? Yeah. I've just been standing here holding this for I don't know how long. It'll always be a part of me. Your past is yours. No one could take that away. I love you, but I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. Goodbye, Robert. give me strength. Thank you. There, there. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Back to the Normandy. Save a few steps. Yeah. Why is it insist on dumping us over here? I think the feeling there was something as far as the other one for the city that I've got so much common shooting things, not wanting to die. No, that's about it. <coughs> Commander. Wait, being common with who I can't miss the first time. Hello, Shepard. Third? No. In common with who? I kinda missed the first Humans. time. Humans. Ah. 
<laughs> oh boy, mail! <laughs> Lieutenant Nolan, field test. The STG deployed their Varen biological weapon on a colony in determinist systems. A field test that I was told you had authorized. Our experiment focused around training the Varen to register the husks as their primary prey. In addition to an increased size and ferocity through the use of steroids and embedded adrenal injectors. I will not bore you with the de details. The experiment was as, was as successful as our simulations predicted. 96.3 of casualties can be directly attributed to the Varen attacking their intended targets. There were unintended casualties among the wounded colonists and the STG. Though unfortunate, these deaths were predicted and future iterations of the project will seek to address this imbalance. We have declared this mission a success. Thank you for supporting our experiment. The STG are with you. Well, that's something. A and N news alert. The Elcor and the Reloy. Terves, a Reloy confederation has sworn its allegiance to, to Dakuna as a client state. In return for protection and advanced technology, the Reloy will provide raw material, food stockpile, and auxiliary troops for the Elcor military. This treaty has exposed deep divisions between the Reloy public and their leadership. On the Citadel, public support is mixed. But several diplomats have quietly condemned the Elcor. We knew of their interest in the Reloy, said Asari diplomat Circa Tawa. Fuck it. But this expansionist act is unexpected and troubling. Anytime the Elcor behave rashly is a time for concern. Ambassador Kalin has confirmed that Reloy auxiliaries will enforce important colonies, including Thuna Wunoruo and Valuna. The council has yet to comment on the development. Speaking of Ambassador Kellen, strain relief. Evacuation successful. <clears throat> With stern acknowledgement, I know that you were the one who authorized the evacuation of Tixpahel. Pained, we can only say th we can only thank you for bypassing regulations to save the calves. Though your dedic decision flouted diplomatic and military law, and too many lives were lost in the rescue attempt. Grieve, the operation is barely considered a success. The shuttles ferried the cows from the colony to the Grand Mar while fighter wings from the Old Town and Vanith screened their escape. We lost a pair of shuttles on the final ascent from the surface. Furthermore, one of our brave cruisers and an allied vessel perished protecting the children as they fled the system. Dread, none of the escape pods could be retrieved, and Reaper forces were last seen acquiring them. With barely re restrained anger, the Code of the Ancients failed us in this engagement. It has so rarely misled us in battle. Too many lives were lost and I must brief the council regarding the outcome of this operation. With grim determination, with grim determination, but I would do it again in an instant. Uh, so, yes, no, yeah. And then from Cortez. Shepard, after you left the refugee memorial, I met an old friend who was helping out colonies, colonists with logistics. She and her buddies are ex-Alliance pilots, damn good ones who left the service to build a life on the frontier. They're homeless now, and when I told them about the forces you've been collecting, they were eager to join. I've attached their contact information to Ford to Hackett. Hopefully they can help. Thanks again for helping me through this. I'm feeling good. I think maybe I'll hit purgatory next time, next trip to the Citadel. Want to join me for some drinks? Fair enough. So we might stop by there. And that reminds yeah. me of stuff. Uh, we can look at some yeah, yeah. We had a, a few more options here, I think. Mm-hmm. Like medical team. Let's see what we can get for the medical team. Ah! Dr. Andre Cornard. Ezrin Noyles. Dungeon Valera. So they give bonuses. Trauma specialist, more health. Neurosurgeon, bonus health and power cooldown. Oh Biotic specialist, bonus power damage. And psychologist, bonus weapon damage and power cooldown. Mm, that one's empty as well. Yeah, I like that one. Just more damage, because of course we will. Listen, get learn how to make stuff more deader. Yeah. Facilities, barman, or chef. One that says fish fed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have fish in your aquarium, up in your quarters. <clears throat> I'm just amused that that's a, like a bonus from the. Yeah, there's actually 
like, there's one of the rare fish from, like, the second game. If you remember to feed them after every mission, keep it all the way alive through the whole thing. Um, and I think you have to, like, talk to Kelly a bit. And then go find her in, uh, in this game. She has all the fit or your fish from the previous game, and she'll give them back to you. And then you keep huh. them alive through the whole game. And there's one specific rare one that apparently, if you get it through the whole thing, it's got a little special special scene that it adds to the ending. Huh. Now I'm kind of disappointed with you on that. Yeah, because I can't remember which one it is. Let's see. Barman, Ellie Lejeune. Southern, Southern yeah. and Cajun food, beer, and good times. Or Keiko Hamada, chef. High quality Japanese food and a clean ship. Yeah, let's go with them. Of course. Sorry, Kelsey, who else can we sign the. We can sign Shavik as a Marine officer. That's we can sign as an executive officer. A lot. Yeah. Let's be honest, Joker. Joker Anything else we could swap out? No. Increase how many Marines we have to a squad of them. Ooh. Sure, let's do that. More Marines. Yeah, I have no idea what it actually means, but hey. Uh, all the marines standing around in armor. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it actually does anything, but additional squad or not Rex. <laughs> Current status on Normandy says plates are itching due to lack of action. <laughs> we can, and yeah. we can add uh, Kasumi if we want to take her off uh, tech duty. Mm. But we'll leave her off for now. Vehicles and equipment. Secondary vehicle. Have we gotten any yet? No. And of course, mech bay. Can't put anything else right there. Yeah. Don't we yet. actually have anyone else in the Detroit squad? Uh, not at the moment. Okay. I saw a plus what did check back then. Oh, hi, David. Well, I mean, I can look. No, nope. never mind. I guess I didn't see it. Oh, you're just seeing things. Yeah, I guess. Fish being fed, <laughs> <coughs> which you know saves you a uh, purchase of buying an aquarium vi. Yeah. But that was a lot of stuff to do. And yeah. so next time we're probably gonna drop onto Chachanka and figure out what the hell that Turian platoon is doing. Yeah. Anyway, next time. Goodbye. Oh,